Hello viewers at home, this is Family Life on Media TV. In commemoration of the International Women's Day recently celebrated, we'll be having an interview this evening. And with me on the program is, can you introduce yourself, ma? I'm Beodini Kehashkot. Okay, welcome to the program. Ma. Thank you. Uh, recently, the International Women's Day was celebrated, and this program is been packaged in commemoration of that event. And I'll be asking you a few questions this evening pertaining to the African woman. Okay, you're um, welcome. Thank you, ma. Thank you for coming on the show. Okay, okay. The African woman seems to be at a disadvantage in many areas and were faced with several challenges. Can you highlight a few of those challenges? Yes, in Africa, in Africa, women are seen to be at the background and uh, some of the challenges they face uh, include unemployment, get child education is actually not too favorable in most African country, although things are getting better now, uh, then you also find, you know, uh, the, the segregation. There are no, in, there's no inclusion in most, uh, in politics and in most uh, social, you know, uh, activities mm -hmm. in Africa. Uh, African women, also by nature. I mean, by our culture, you know, uh, it, it have to be, you know, all and doing. Mm. She's a wife, she's a mother, she's a servant. Mm. She's more or less all in all. Not only to her husband, too, but to every member of the family. In fact, she has to respond adequately to everyone. Mm. And this makes her to to be jack of all trade, mm -hmm. and often nobody even think of her needing rest. Mm -hmm. Even when she's weak, they still expect that she must be strong for the family mm -hmm. and carry out all family chores without any questions. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the challenges the okay. African women. Face. Thank you very much, ma'am. Okay, going by the challenges we've been able to highlight. What solutions can you prefer to these challenges? Uh, some of the solutions have to, in fact, uh, the African women themselves have to come together to form a formidable force in support of their peer. And this we see that is really happening in Nigeria now, uh, for example, and in most African countries. You find that. Uh, women do collaborate to help one another another thing also is that uh, the african women must be empowered mm. you know empowerment in, in in terms of job in terms of education in in, in terms of you know legal hate mm -hmm. uh, when it, we, now we find out that uh, Sometimes when women are being marginalized, you know, we need to make sure that, you know, they have legal aid to, to back okay. them up and to make them to be inclusive in all social activities and amenities. Okay. Yeah. The, another thing also, when we look at the insecurity, that is ravaging almost all African countries yeah. and even in some of the European world because of the ISIS and all the terrorist, you know, activities. Mm. Most of our women are subjected to rape, mm. you know, they are being kidnapped and wiped away from their family, their children are being taken away and all this cause depression and, you know, emotional torture mm. to these women so challenges have to be that governments these challenges governments really have to you know be up and doing to make sure that we put an end to these vices uh, and also to make sure that our youths 
whom are being used as terrorists. Mm. You know, these are youths that are born by women. Yeah. And of course, the the, the is emotional, and uh, uh, there's emotional torture for one to know that your child is being recruited among these terrorists. terrorists. Yes. So we we really need to do government need to do a lot to ensure that we we rid our society of you know, all these kidnappers and cultists. Thank you very much, ma'am. Now going by these um, challenges and solutions you've been able to offer, do you think African women have a stay in do we have a hope in creating development in Africa? Yes, African women have hope. In fact, African women by nature are home builders. Mm. And when we know that the home is a unit of a family, a unit of the society, then it implies that it's women that can build the society. Mm. So African women by their own, by nature, by divine nature, can recreate the, the society we have now. And uh, by also inclusion in politics and, you know, giving them power we found out that women will be able to transform the society yeah. you know, and that is why you know there is usually affirmation for more for women inclusive in governments yeah. when we have more women in governments we found out that you know activities uh, uh, they, they, some of these challenges will be taken care of okay yeah. thank you very much ma in conclusion what words of encouragement do you have for African women, especially in this season of the COVID-19 global pandemic? My encouragement is that they shouldn't shy away from doing their, taking up their responsibility. In spite of the COVID, uh, African women should make sure that all the COVID precautionary measures are employed. And that shouldn't be a reason for not exploring. In fact, COVID has made people who are very, very creative to explore that activities. We have many women doing online trading. Yeah. And uh, this, despite the fact that there is COVID, mm -hmm. they are able to explore. Yes. We have women leading society, topping the nation. For example, people like uh, uh, Dr. Ngozi, Ngozi Ngwela. Okojo Nwela, you know, making fits across the world. Yeah. Even in Nigeria, there are so many of them in Africa. We, we have women that were given opportunity. Like uh, in Syria alone, we know of the uh, former president, president, who is yeah. also a woman. Yeah. And uh, in the past, we have people like Margaret Thatcher yeah. that were able to, you know, uh, deliver despite the restriction of COVID women should continue to to, to you know uh, put up all that we take to build nation because they are nation builders thank you very much ma women you have it there you are nation builders keep the hope up whatever challenges we may be passing through Let's keep being hopeful. Once again, it's Family Life on New Don TV. See you again next time on the show. Thank you.